All right, everybody. Um, a while back, I did a video, I guess a walkthrough of new arrivals. It had to be probably five months ago. There's actually someone who commented in the comments, they wanted to see a video on this Grand Marquis. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on this Grand Marquis and I'm actually gonna do one better. We'll run through the yard and I'll get all the other Crown Vicks and Grand, uh, Grand Marquis that I know where they're at is we actually collect these cars. That's why this one's technically still sitting here. I was gonna inventory it and I keep skipping it in case I need anything because we race these cars and I'll, act I'll actually show you the race car towards the end, it's out back. Um, so that way you can, can kind of get an idea. These cars are actually getting hard to find because they did a uh, race series about these cars now. Uh, it's like the Crown Vic series, which Grand Marquis, Crown Vic, pretty much same thing. They just had different luxury options. Um, but yeah, this one here, the reason it's still sitting here is I might need parts on it, to be honest. Um, it's been sitting here for so long, I honestly forgot what they said was wrong with this thing. I think they said a fuel pump. I'm not 100% sure. But let's go ahead and start off. We'll grab the VIN. So this is going to be a 99 Grand Marquis. Blue in color, gray interior, power windows, power seats, column shift. I don't know the mileage, automatic air conditioning. And you have a standard radio in here. It is trashed. I guess they just didn't care about it. But still, it has the key, column, all that good stuff. Or it has the key in the column. It's got the split bench in the front, standard bench in the back, cloth interior instead of leather. No power on this car, so I can't get in the trunk. I mean, I probably could. I could get a jump box, but I'm not going to because we have a lot of videos to get through today. A lot. All right, it's going to be the 4.6 liter, which these cars, I mean, you could put a couple performance pieces on here and get it to go faster, but how we race them, we race them on the dirt track, and they really seem to do really good. They're very, very tough cars, so that's kind of why we collect them for now. But this car, I did, as, as you guys seen, the air cleaner was taken off the air pipe. I was putting fuel down in that throttle body trying to get this thing to fire off. And I cannot remember if it did fire or not. Like I said, it's been so long ago since we I tried doing anything with this. The mileage I think was actually pretty decent on this car to be honest. The body is in great shape. So this one, like I said, I might, I probably will inventory this one uh, because I'll show you here as we're going through the yard, I have a ton of them. So this one I might inventory because we still sell a lot of stuff for these cars. So let me run, we'll get in this yard car here. I'm actually using this Grand Cherokee today. My yard car is a Honda. Um, oh, what the heck is that thing called? <sighs> I'll show it to you. I forget what the heck it's called now. Sorry about the dirty windshield, but it has not rained in like a month. It's just a dust bowl out here. So it's just, just horrible. So we got a Crown Vic right here. This actually came across the scale. There's no motor, no tranny, but it's frame and a good body. So we got an extra body there. I think the interior is good out of that one too. But that one's a standard Crown Vic. Then these two over here actually just came in uh, two weeks ago. So there's another Crown Vic, which I'll get out and I'll do these ones here. Oh, Honda Element, that's it. That's my yard car. <laughs> All right, so this one's got good radio support, which I actually do need. Need a new support. 
good frame but if we ever get in a car that has a wreck like that and it takes out the frame we're just going to crush the car anyway i uh, got a good couple pieces in here radiator is a good piece to have for backup um, these are going to be standard seats looks like they're unbolted just sitting in here which they are didn't need the glass anyway so we went through the glass to pick this off the trailer good doors this one over here same thing no drivetrain, no rear axle, just a good body. Um, all these good front ends. You got a fender that you could still use, hood, which you can use. These header panels um, are getting harder to find. So I might actually sell this header panel because I, I mean, I could use it. I don't technically need it. So to make, you know, 65 bucks, probably just sell the header panel. This actually looks like a cop car. This is a cop car interior with the uh, buckets like this. So this might be a police interceptor car. Let's check and see. Yep, there it is. Police interceptor, which sucks because this had the good axle. I would have loved to have the axle out of this car it's good for racing but we'll see if there's anything else on this car that we could use as far as racing goes it was a sheriff's car it says sheriff right here onslow county o-n-s-l-o-w county sheriff so there's what three more crown vicks right there We'll run out back. I'll show you the other ones real quick. This yard car, someone actually sold it to us for scrap. We gave them a little bit more for scrap, though. It's got 246,000 miles on it, uh, but still runs. Runs and drives, four-wheel drive. And this one don't beat you to death like my Honda Element does because the rear suspension kind of collapsed on it. So it's a little rough. All right, this one over here is a Grand Marquis. This one, they actually drove it in, so there's nothing wrong with this car. It was his mother's car. She passed away, he didn't want it. It's got like 137 on it, I think. This one's back here, because this is like a backup race car. That's what we're going to use it for anyway. Yeah, 139 613 is on this car. And this is a Grand Marquis, like I said. Similar to the blue one. It's got a lot of the same stuff as the blue one did. And this is going to be a 2001. But body in really great shape. Um, and like I said, this one here runs and drives. So there's that one. And then we have more. Everything is just so dusty around here. As you guys can see, Rolls Rice is still here. So it ain't going nowhere. I mean, I, it would be nice for it to go somewhere. Someone would want to buy it for parts, but I, to be honest, I don't even know what to ask for the darn thing. I don't have a clue. All I really want is the uh, fair lady on the front. That's all I want. I wish the rest would go somewhere else and be used for something instead of sitting out here rotting away to nothing. And it's already pretty rotten. I moved it and the bottom of the trunk pan fell out on the floor, so on the ground. So it's pretty, pretty rough. 
All right, we're gonna park right here because we have a lot of them right in this area. I'm gonna shut this thing off. So it won't beep when I open the door. Okay, so we got one right over here. This is a white uh, Grand Marquis. And I actually took the axle out of this one and put it in one of the race cars because I burned, a, burned the bearings up on an axle. Circle tracking it. Ran it dry fluid, came out the passenger side and burned it up. So this one here is also a parts car. I don't even remember where this one came from, but I know it came from a batch of cars because this was batch number 16 or uh, car number 16 on, out of whatever batch I bought it from. There's the number if you guys want it. White and tan. This one only had 109,000 miles on it. Very clean car. Body's in great shape on this one. And I think I took, yep, we got the radiator out of this one. I used it as a backup uh, in case we tap somebody in the front punctured radiator i could swap it out real quick um they're actually really quick to swap so you can do them in fairly small amount of time wait i think i do remember this where this car came from i think this was a ford dealership um courtesy car now that i think about it I think that was a courtesy car. So there might not actually be anything wrong with that car. I know it didn't come with keys. So that's where that one came from. This one over here, this one does have a bad motor. This is another Crown Vic. The body is in also good shape. A lot of good body panels. Ooh, we might have a wasp nest in here. Like I said, they are uh, getting pretty feisty yep there's a wasp mess in the door so this is going to be a 2000 also with 174 for mileage hello i'll let you be that way you won't sting me I really need to check on these heater AC controls. I remember these auto temp controls were like insanely expensive and you would sell every single one that you got. But I cannot remember. I'll have to check and see if, uh, if they're worth pulling now because obviously we got a bunch of them. We sell them all with warranties. So even if they are bad, we will swap them out. This car still got a battery in it, but this is a complete car. I know it had a bad motor, so this motor is no good. But like I said, good parts on this one. And we got some more. Like I said, we uh, have been hanging on to these because we've been racing them. I already totaled one. So it's long gone. We actually uh, wrecked it on the, I think it was like the first lap, second lap. I think it was the second lap. We wrecked it and that, it got hit so hard it actually buckled the uh, tranny tunnel. This one here is an older style. So this is the generation before the ones that we've been viewing. This is a 93 model. This car actually runs and drives. It's got 133,000 miles on it. This was a, this was an estate car. So someone passed away. They didn't want it. They didn't want to go through the hassle of getting a title to where they could sell it. They sold it for junk. They actually drove this car to the rollback to meet them to pick up their check to put this on the rollback. 
So, and I've been meaning to roll this window up, I just keep forgetting, but power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, column shift, got cruise control, blue with blue interior or interior, clock in the center, you have standard radio and power antenna up and down, which is actually unique. I haven't seen one of those in a while. And you also have your heater AC controls, like I said, with key, does run and drive, 133,874. A really nice blue interior. It's like I got this window rolled up. But again, this one's gonna be a 4.6, just like the all the rest of them. Didn't really change much besides styling and a few fancy gizmos on the inside. <clears throat> So this one, potential race car. Um, we actually have two of these older Crown Vicks. We have this one here and a purple one right up there, which I will get to in a bit. This one also was sold for scrap. We went and picked this one up. Good header panel. Let's see, save for race car parts, had no core. It's got the aluminum. Crown Vic wheels on here. Those are some nice rims. Probably see if those are worth anything. This one here has the leather or vinyl. Yeah, vinyl. Has the vinyl interior. 246,340 miles. Ugly radio. Another automatic temp control unit. This one's got traction control as well. This is a 2004. Yep, 2004 Crown Vic. So that one actually came, uh, we, we went out and picked this one up. So this one will probably be used for parts. Super high mileage, not gonna sell anything on this one. So this will be a parts one. Now, let's see, this, these three, this one, that one, and this one, they've all come out of the yard. These ones were inventoried, we sold parts on them, and then we needed space. They'd done been out here long enough. We pulled them out of the yard to crush, but they didn't get crushed. Um, we're actually going to use these also for parts. So we have a 99 Crown Vic here, and you can see what everything that we have sold on it. Headlights, grill, hood. Hoods definitely sell. Uh, looks like we sold the door glass out of each door. Yep. Door glasses have been sold. Still have the drive shaft. The heater AC control is gone. The radio is also gone. The digital, wow, digital speedometer is still here. It's been a while since I've seen a digital speedometer. So these, we actually sold quite a bit off this car. Um, door mirrors have been sold. Let's see what else. So the other door glass over there. So the back window, which those suck to pull. This is a grand marquee, so is a key. Sold a tail light. Steering gear is still in here. Do we sell an axle? Yep, sold an axle. Axles are gone. Front suspension's still here. All right, this one here is a 96 model. This one was killed in the rear. I know we sold the motor and tranny out of this one. A lot of front end pieces, fenders, doors. Sold quite a bit off of this car. Column sold, heater AC control, radio sold. This one's also got another digital speedometer. I said it's a Grand Prix, or a, not Grand Prix, Grand Marquis. And this one was hit hard in the rear. You can tell this thing just got killed. But I think this thing didn't actually have a lot of miles on it, to be honest. Yeah, this car only had 96,000 miles on it when it was wrecked. That's why we sold everything. All the drivetrain on this car. But it's got a good core support. 
which we could use. This fender we could use if we run the old bodied um, Crown Vic. We could use all this stuff. This is a newer bodied, uh, this is a 06. This was a cop car. This one was picked up on the side of the road. It got hit on the passenger side. Um, and when they got hit, they kept driving it. They actually blew the motor up in this car. So I think we sold the motor as a core, sold the transmission as a good transmission. And it actually had the police bar on the front. We sold the bar, the bumper. No, we didn't sell the bumper. Bumper's right there. But I know we did sell the push bar on it. Uh, cause I actually had to pull that and it sucked, but we got it off anyway. This one's actually got the undercarriage that the people like to mount in the old Ford trucks. It's got these adjustable A-arms up here. And these actually wrap around the frame and this is what they put on the old Ford trucks to get disc brakes and power steering. We've actually sold quite a few of these ones. This one here, we did not um, sell as a complete unit. This one we went to part out because we actually had a request for just separate pieces like that knee and this undercarriage and steering gear um and obviously it looks like it just didn't sell uh this is the g stock number so this has been out in the yard for it'd be over a thousand days like i think 1300 days this car has been out in the yard so obviously i think we were better off to just leave it complete sell it as a dropout because i know we sold two of those already and those bring 250 bucks um so next time we'll probably do that here's the vin number on this one if you guys are interested in it uh, don't matter to me uh, but like i said this one is wrecked abandoned uh they sold it for junk we did not sell the heater ac control this one so they might have died down now did sell the speedometer because uh police issued um police and Ah, gosh, I can't even think of what it is. Interceptor, that's it. Police interceptor speedometers are different than standard civilian speedometers. So we got a lot of people who buy just those for that reason. Um, but they did swap out the interior because this was a police interceptor car and an individual bought it and, you know, made it their own. Swapping everything back. But this one's got a lot of good parts on it, so... That's why all three of these are back here for parts for our race cars. And I think I got two more over here. There is a few more way out back, but I'm just gonna do these two because I don't want this video to be so dang long. You guys get bored. This one here we bought two years ago from Copart. It has the Copart sticker on it. Uh, this one we were going to use for race car, and we actually got into Acura TLs. This one was hit on the driver's side right here. Uh, we got into Acura TLs. We started running those, and we just never came back to this one. But now that we're running longer races, these Crown Vicks and Grand Marquis seem to be holding up a whole lot better than the Acura TLs. The Acura TLs are way faster, but they can't take a hit. That's the problem. If you get someone in front of you and you tap them, you done busted your radiator, you're done. Well, I mean, you're going to change it, but you're pretty much done for winning. Uh, this had 199,000 miles on it, so kind of high miles. I don't know what we're going to do with this one yet. Parts, race car, I don't know. This one here was the one I raced um, last year, and there's a race coming up in few months in September this is gonna be there again uh, this car was mint after that race or before that race this car was mint uh, there was no dents or dings on this car and you can see what one race will do to a car that's why we got a couple of parts cars around here this quarter panel is smashed in the doors got it fenders definitely got it and this core support is smashed. So I gotta put a core support in. And how I did this 
So I zip tied this radiator in. And the reason I did that is for this whole purpose. So you get someone who backs up in front of you and you can't stop in time and you tap them. The shock to this will actually snap the top of this radiator off. And when it does that, it cracks it, opens it up, and you done lost your coolant. You zip tie this thing. It won't allow the radiator to go back into the fan if you got one. It will keep it close to the support. But also, if you tap somebody, it's not putting pressure on this hard plastic. This stuff does not flex. This aluminum will flex. This stuff here will flex. So you'll be able to keep rolling and not have a busted radiator. So I gotta fix the front of this car up. I got caved in the door here on the driver's side. So I gotta fix that door. So we'll take this door off, hang a new door. I'll put the netting in that door and just beat the rest of the dents out. But this was the car that we raced. I think there was over 90 cars in that race. This car finished fourth. So they're very, very tough and they'll last. As long as you can last, everybody seems to take everybody else out. So that's why I like these Crown Vicks. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, sorry this video was so long. I just wanted to get all of these Crown Vicks in. Uh, the gentleman who texted or uh, commented wanted to see them. So there you guys have it. Appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next one.